don't slow me down Every time I move up, you need me now I'm just what you want when I'm in town Every time I got no Hi, my name's Danny Trachtenberg. I'm a recording and mix engineer and a producer, working with Octavian, Plan B, Stormzy, Skepta, Kojak, Jay Warner. Today we're in the Puzzle Factory. We're working with Jay Warner, an artist I've mixed for in the past and currently working on his upcoming album. Jay, all right. Yep. Should we, uh, let's just let's set some levels for you. Cool. How's just generally the level in your, it's nice. In your kit, yeah? Okay. So we're going to be working with Antelope's Discrete Four Synergy Core and their Edge Solo Microphone uh, for this session. We're working with quite a big Pro Tools session where we're going to be retracking some vocals. And because of the Synergy's ability to track and monitor through the interface and through, this, through its kind of built-in upgraded software, it's really useful for working with Pro Tool sessions, heavy Pro Tool sessions that already have a lot of processing and you might need to go back in and track uh, whatever you need really while monitoring through its kind of upgraded built-in software without disturbing an existing heavy mix session. Let me just bring, bring a little bit of compression and EQ for you as well. Time I move up, you need me now. I'm just what you want when I'm in town. Every time I got no time, you come around. All right, how's that sounding for you? Sounds cool to me. All right, nice. Let's um, let's just play a little bit with the auto-tune. Let's just get it to sound in light for the time being. So the beauty of the Discrete Four Synergy core is now introducing third-party processing plugins, such as the Antares Auto-Tune, which is something I use a lot. It gives us the ability to monitor through it if we choose or even track through it while having both the option of a clean channel and a process channel to kind of work with in the mix. Cool, how's that for your headphones? Yeah, that's cool. All right, let's just play it against the, um, the backing track. Don't slow me down Every time I move up what we found during today's session is we wanted to start to revisit the vocal sound kind of on the fly and using Antelope's Edge solo mic, we could kind of dial in a new sound. Jay could listen to them in real time as I was auditioning each one. And then as we found something that he sat with, we could just kind of carry on the session without having to change microphones. Cool, Jay, I'm just going to flick through. We can. We can do a couple mic, a few mic options. I'm just okay. going to flick through some options and see what, um, see if you feel like any of them work better. Okay. You. Just going to check out the Tokyo 800T. Okay. Oh. Here's the uh, Berlin 67. Ba, ba, na, na, na. Here's the Vienna 12. Why are you lying to yourself? Bit more silky. Bit more silky. Nice. Mm -hmm. Let's give this a pass. Just clean without the auto tune and let cool. you like vibe through it. That's it. As we were kind of progressing through the session and kind of exploring what the Discrete Force Synergy Core kind of had to offer in its, with its processing capabilities, we were exploring Auto-Tune. You know, it's the same. It sounds exactly the same as what we use in his mix sessions, what he's been used to tracking with in previous sessions and other studios. Yeah, lovely, man. Yeah, so that note is mad. I didn't realize how much I use that note. That is bypassing. What? Which, what, which note is it? Uh, yeah, just G. Just G. Uh, uh, Every time I move up, you need me now. I'm just what you want. There, is G, is G, is G, G in there yeah. for you now? We played with the intensity of the retune speed. They kind of found a way for us to kind of revisit the song in a slightly different way. All right, Jay, let's let's do let's do a pass with the with the auto tune really dialed in. Cool, cool. So let's just let's dial it in on your headphones now. I'm just what you want, when I'm a town. Every time I have no time, you. Come around. Oh. Cool. Well, let's do a pass with with where we've got it at the moment. Bit 
There's like moments as when BVs. I sing, tune, I sing differently. Right. Yeah. We played kind of again on the fly with the vibrato setting and that I think really changed the way that he thought he could approach a vocal performance. Just just to, just to mess around with it, we'll maybe find like like slightly mess with the autotune settings and bring in some of the vibrato on the okay, autotune cool. just to play with it and just yeah, see, yeah. How that, see how that works. Don't slow me down. Every time I move up, you need me now. I'm just what you want when I'm in town. Yeah, Don't it's just in there a little bit. Down. Every time I move up, you need me now. Nice. That's mad. Cool. That is a game changer. Just singing straight and you got Vibro. <laughs> Having a product like this just allows you to throw Pro Tools into low latency mode, monitor through the interfaces, own software, add processing if you want to, and be able to track clean or through kind of the new um, features, including third party features like Autotune, without having to worry about messing with your session, bouncing things down, creating a two track. Yeah, I just want to say thanks to Jay and his team at the Flight Club, working those, working with those guys for a while now, and it's always a pleasure. Light yourself.